When you're working in Excel, you can right click in many places and you'll see a pop up menu. If I right click on a cell, I can filter or insert format cells and many other commands here. There are some commands like pick from drop down list, perhaps you never use that. And there might be other commands that you wish were on here, but aren't. There's a free add in for Excel that will let you customize these right click menus. And we're going to take a look at where you can download that and then how you can use it to modify these menus. The website where you can download this is called Your Somebody and it's run by Doug Glancy. On the home page he mentions the menu writer add-in and that's what we're looking for. So if I go to Tools, Menu Writer, it will take me to a page that gives you some instructions about the menu writer. There's a link here where you can go and download it. And a little further down, if you're using 2003 or 2007 version of Excel, you can go to the old menu writer page and download that version. Once you've downloaded it, you'll install it and a little further down on the page, Doug has installation instructions that you can follow to get it up and running. Now we'll go back in Excel and take a look. So in Excel, I've gone to the Developer tab. Once you've installed the add-in, you'll see the Menu Writer over here at the far right. And when you click that, it will open it up. And we've got two main features here, a list of all the commands that are available, and a list of the target toolbars where we can put them. I want to find a command that will let me toggle these grid lines. Just turn them on and off. So in this list of commands, there are some ways I can look for things. So I can know the path or the control ID, but it's unlikely that I will know those. But I can go to the control name and choose contains. I'll press tab and I'll type grid. There are a few choices and toggle grid is what I'm looking for. Now I want to put it onto a menu that appears when I right click on a cell. I'll click this arrow and we can see there are lots of items here. There are multiple options for some of them. And there's a cell and there's another one right below it. If I click on this one, I'll see all the commands that are on it. I'll go to the next one and that looks very similar. So it might be hard to tell which target menu you really need. But down here in the middle at the bottom, there's a checkbox which will show labels on the menus. And if I go to the bottom of this now, it says 40 cell. And if I go back to the other one, it says 37 cell. So that's going to help me identify which one I need. I'll right click on a cell and it tells me this is 37 cell. So perfect, that's what I want. So now I've got toggle grid. This says 37 cell. I'll decide where I want it and then I'm going to click this add button. Just above filter. So I'll click on filter click add and it goes right above that and then apply changes and there's my toggle grid and that gets rid of the grid lines or I can right click again and turn them back on. Now I'm going to take off one that I rarely use. I'll go to pick from drop down list, select it, click remove, apply changes, and now it's gone from the menu, but the one that I added is still there. If you ever wanted to go back to your original settings, there's a button here that lets you reset to the default for any menu. So to save time, use the Menu Writer free add-in and then you can customize these right-click menus and get the commands you need where you need them. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.